Hello all, I'm Wanda Baker Hayward, and welcome to Kids Corner, and I have another guided meditation for you today. This one's called Bucket of Kindness. It's also written by Melissa Dormite of Shambhala's Kids. Now this one though, she based it on the book, Have You Filled a Bucket Today? A Guide to Daily Happiness for Kids by Carol McLeod. Um... You might know of this book. You might have read it. You might not have. Maybe you might want to read it later. So get comfortable and here we go. Close your eyes and take a very deep breath. Keep breathing deeply and feel the cool air come in through your nose and flow all the way down to your belly. Feel your belly extend as you breathe in. Now listen carefully to all the quiet sounds outside and around you. Maybe you hear outside noises, maybe cars or birds or something else. Just listen. Now turn your focus within. Listen quietly to what you hear happening within your body. Can you hear your heart beating? Can you hear your breath as you breathe slowly in and out? Maybe your tummy is making noises. Whatever is going on inside, just take time to listen. Imagine, now inside of you, there is a big, beautiful bucket. Everyone has one, though we can't see it with our eyes. When we feel good, our buckets are full. When we feel bad, our buckets are low or maybe even empty. Did you know that when you fill someone else's bucket with kindness, helpfulness, or even a smile, your own bucket gets filled up too? That's actually the way we fill our buckets. When we share goodness and think happy thoughts, our buckets are filled with so much goodness. When kind words are spoken, buckets get fuller. And when unkind words are spoken, buckets become a little emptier. We all want our buckets to be full of love, kindness, peacefulness, and happiness. Everyone does. So we can make a choice each and every day to show loving kindness to others and help fill up their buckets. In doing so, our own buckets get filled up to the top and can even overflow with happiness. Let's imagine for a moment a time when you might get upset with someone. What do you imagine is happening to your bucket? What's happening to the other person's bucket? We don't want empty buckets because it doesn't feel nice inside. So your goal when you get upset is to talk about what you're feeling without emptying your bucket or the other person's bucket. You can do it. Just imagine that bucket and keeping it full. If your bucket ever feels low or empty, you can take a deep breath. Remember how loved you are. You can choose to be grateful for the good things and people you have in your life and focus on that. Now, when you're ready, take a deep breath. Open your eyes and give your wonderful body a big, wonderful stretch. You've done a great job. So, now that we're ready, Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that we all have buckets and that we can be kind and good and helpful and helping others fill their buckets and in doing so, we will fill our buckets. So thank you and maybe remind us sometimes that our actions may not be filling our bucket or someone else's bucket. So, thank you. Amen.